they're so great about putting together projects and programs to, to educate. I remember when I was a resident, which was about 10 years ago now, I did my residency in Perry at UCLA. Uh, Nobel Biocare um, was uh, always there, and I learned so much from there, just free programs after school, even though some of us went just for the free food. But it's quite <laughs> all right. Um, and Dr. Malkin and I met 10, 12 years ago, maybe, during yeah. our residency at the VA hospital. And we had the programs together in uh, dental implants. So that's how we started working together back in 2002, I believe it was already. Long time ago. Time flies. So I'm a prosthodontist. And as Dr. Moldovan said, I did a residency at West LA VA Hospital. So it's somewhat UCLA affiliated program. So that's how we got to work Start, started working together and uh, I practiced in Los Angeles for a while so we practiced together in Los Angeles and then a couple of years ago I had to move out here um, marriage yeah happens <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost the fight of where we were going to live I wanted to stay in LA but I had to move back here and my family is here so when I moved here I was like well who's, who am I going to do these cases with so I told Dr. Moldovan, you know, it's not that difficult to get a license in, license in New York City. I think you should just do it so you can come in and we can do cases together in, in New York. And so about every six weeks or so I'm here, we work in the clinic together two, three times, uh, like two, three days at a time. So you're welcome to come actually observe some cases if you like. We extend that invitation. I see a lot of the residents here, so I'm happy to see that. Um, and then I go back to LA and Dr. Malkin flies out to LA and we do cases there together, especially we specialize in full mouth rehabilitation. So, um, how, uh, so we have a lot of residents, I already got to know some of you. Um, a few other people walked in. Is it uh, general dentistry or periodontist. periodontist? And any other specialties? General. Hi, general dentistry, great. So how many of you have experience with full arch rehabilitation? Including residents. Okay, great. Placed implants. <laughs> and placed implants and does a restore. rehabilitation. Okay, great. How many of you have done the all on four protocol? No. Have you guys done you've done a full all on four protocol? In residency, are you taught all on four protocol? No. Are they against it? Just out of curiosity. You can say it. Nobody's here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, good. So uh, what we wanted to do is really present cases and share our experience with you. So if at any point you have a question, feel free to stop us and ask. But um, what we wanted to focus on is really on those patients that are about to lose their teeth and they don't want to go through the denture phase. They're afraid. I mean, the psychological impact of losing your teeth is huge. And as dentists, including myself, we're guilty sometimes of separating that part of, of uh, human feelings from the dentistry that we do. Our cases that we're going to show, we're actually going to talk about how to skip the whole removal denture part and go straight from full mouth dentition into implant prosthesis. So um, we're going to go over a little bit of patient selection and how to really come up with a good, solid treatment plan. I cannot tell you enough how important it is for an all on four protocol to have a great patient selection, to really tell the patient what they're getting, to let them know, hey, you're not going to get the same set of teeth. This is an alternative to dentures. It is not an alternative to teeth. Very important. And then. Really to review a little bit about the immediate load protocol that we do, it might be a little bit different than the traditional on 4 protocol uh, that Dr. Malo does, although I was trained personally by Dr. Malo in Portugal. I spent a week with him. And um, then let's go over a little bit about our complications, because let's face it, if you don't have complications in implant dentistry, it means you haven't done enough cases. That's really what it is. We're all going to run into complications. and as long as you know how to deal with those complications, you should be able to do any case that you want. 
All right, so we're going to take a look at this patient, just an example of the type of patients that we get. So um, let me tell you a story about this patient. So she's 59 years old, and she works at a law firm, and she talks to clients every day. But yet, when you look at, you, at her teeth, they're obviously a problem. So why would a person who is professionally employed, talks to people every day, would walk around like this? So, and we talked to her, and over the years, as her teeth were getting worse and worse, she went around, she went to a couple of places, and they told her, no problem, you, we can fix your teeth, but you'll have to have your teeth removed, get a denture, then four to six months later, get the implants, and then maybe another four, six months later, get teeth attached to the implants. So she would have to be in a denture from six months to a year. So, I mean, I think maybe women are more sensitive to it because as a woman, I would never want to have a denture. How many and, of you yeah. would? You know, how many Anyone here would stuff? like to have a denture? I don't know how it feels, but I don't want to find out. So she just kind of was walking around like this until she saw the doctor show. And Dr. Moldovan did a doctor show and she actually talked about an all on four protocol and the fact that you can have the teeth removed, put implants and put teeth on implants all in the same, all in the same day. So she went online and she did some research and she came to our office. And uh, those of you who are in residency, uh, uh, I have to tell you, you know, in real life nowadays, most patients get all their information online. And it's amazing. They come to us already asking for an all on four. Yeah. And I hear that from other, uh, I don't know if you have that experience, uh, but we get patients that say, I'm here for an all on four. They already know what they want because the information is out there. Yeah. And you don't have to sell them on getting the treatment done. They come in asking for it. They only want to see if you can actually do it for them. Right. They're interviewing you for the job. Right. That's what it is. And this patient was ready to do it. So she came, actually, she came on Wednesday. We took records and impression pictures on Thursday, and then she had the procedure done on Saturday. So pretty much in the beginning of the week, her teeth looked like this, and then at the end of the week, her teeth looked like this. Obviously, this is taking a little later, like a month later, there's no swelling. She actually had quite a bit of swelling, but that's how she looked like, and she didn't have to get a denture. And for me as a restorative dentist, if I have to put a patient into a denture, I know two things. And the surgeon is going to do their surgery and they're going to forget about this patient. That's the best part about surgery. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll be dealing with this patient for the next year. So I know two things. They're going to come in multiple times for me to adjust them. And then they're going to be really unhappy. And then once you get just about the dentures now is not hurting, what happens now? It's loose. So now I have to reline it, either soft tissue, hard tissue reline, and you go through the whole process again. So it's not fun for a practice to have that. So when you do this type of the procedures, and obviously for the residents that are getting out of the residency now, so we're all in the business of dentistry, not in the hobby of dentistry. We want the procedures that are good for the practice in terms of the income and doesn't take as much chair side time. So after this, now about after the first surgery that she had, when she comes in at two weeks, we just check on her. And Dr. Moldovan actually started putting some dissolvable sutures now, so we don't have to even remove the sutures. I don't have to remove her temporary prosthesis. I just check on her. If there are some sutures hanging, I remove them. Then we see her in two months. And then in, at four months, we take an x-ray, see how the implants are doing. And she's pretty much ready to go for the final restoration. And now, because, and we'll go through all the steps, because we established the vertical at the surgery, when the surgery was done with a con uh, denture conversion, and she'd been functioning with the seclusion, and we worked out any issues that she had in terms of the bite and uh, any, if she had any TMJ problems. So now I can actually do a final restoration maybe in three, four appointments, and it's upper and lower. And maybe each appointment is an hour and a half. 